we want to find the critical values for 95% confidence interval in general, finding left and right critical values for chi-squared test. So remember that to use your calculator, it doesn't have inverse chi-squared. So what are we going to do? We're going to use our calculator. In your calculator first, click on math, and then go to C, select numeric solver. When you go to the numeric solver, it gives you two sets, equation on the left, equation on the right. Equation on the left is actually the area on the left-hand side. The area on the left-hand side of the right critical value is this total area on the right, 95% plus 0 0.025, which gives you 0.975 or 97.5%. This is on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you're going to go to second Mars and select chi-squared, CDF, 0, X, and 17. 17 is because the degrees of freedom is 17. And when you click on graph, it gives you this number X, which is 30.191, which is the critical value on the right-hand side. So let me show you how to use your calculator and calculate this. So I'm going to go to my calculator and show you how to do the computation here. Very good. So let me share the screen. I'm going to reset my calculator. So you see everything from scratch. Go to second plus and go to reset. Reset all RAM. And then I'm going to reset the defaults so you don't see anything over there. So first go to the math. And then down here, you're going to find numeric solver. You have equation on the left, equation on the right that you need to solve. On the left-hand side, select the area on the left-hand side, this number. You can also select this number on the right-hand side. I show you how to use it. But for now, I'm going to use this larger area on the left-hand side of the right critical value, which is 0. 0.975. Again, 95% plus this little area on the left gives you 0. 0.975. And then the equation on the right-hand side is going to be second bars, and you're going to go to chi-squared CDF, chi-squared CDF, and then enter. The lower limit is going to be zero. The upper limit is the value that I don't know what that is. So I'm going to go to the this bottom here and select X. Again, just click on this bottom and it select X for you. The degrees of freedom is 17, and then go to paste. So as you can see, it pastes the second value here. This is your equation on the right-hand side. Now click on graph. The very first X you see is not the correct X. So you're going to click on graph again, and it gives you, hey, the critical value on the right-hand side. Now we're going to go to the next slide and show you how to find the critical value on the left-hand side. There we go. So here you're going to go to math again. You're going to select numerical solver. Area on the left is going to be now just 0 0.025. And the equation on the right-hand side is going to be chi-square CDF, 0x and 17. And the critical value on the left-hand side is 7.5641, which is going to be this number here. What you see is taken from the table, but we are using our calculator. So let's take a look at our calculator. I'm going to share the calculator and then share the screen with you. So you see where to go and what to do. Perfect. So again, go to math. Down here, find equation solver. And then on top, you're going to change this area to the little area on the left-hand side, which is 0.025. For this equation, let us erase this, go to second, bars, and find chi-square CDF. The lower bound is zero. The upper bound is X, guys, because we are looking for that X. Degrees of freedom is 17, and do the paste. Now click on graph. Graph again. Very good. As you can see, the critical value or the chi-square value on the left is 7.5641. 